Well, some vegetables like sweet corn, courgettes, beans need a little bit of extra heat to get them going in the spring. Dan and I are sowing these and we're going to keep them here in our rainforest bio. But at home, you could put them on a windowsill or in a greenhouse. It's a really good idea to sow them into modules or small pots like these. Once the roots have grown, the plants have established, you can plant them into the bed without further disturbance. Now that the ground is warming up and the risk of really cold weather has passed, we can plant summer flowering bulbs. Things like lilies, begonias, and I've got some lovely gladioli. Now the ground's beginning to warm up and trees and shrubs are beginning to grow, we tend to give them a general fertiliser. We're going to use a chicken manure based pellet around our cork oak trees here. At Eden we harvest our April showers and the rain through the rest of the year and we store it in giant tanks underneath the biomes. Of course at home you can do much the same by installing a water butt so you've got water ready for the long hot summer ahead. In the damp weather of April when plants are putting up young shoots, slugs and snails tend to get active. So if you do need to put out slug pellets, use ones that are wildlife friendly. And when you put them out, make sure you spread them sparsely. Well, we're busy doing a lot of lawn care at this time of year. Mowing, edging, sowing any seed where perhaps the grass has got a bit bare, and weeding as well. I absolutely love asparagus, and James tells me now is the time to harvest it. Certainly is, yeah. So harvest when the spears are six to seven inches long, yeah. and the way to do it is with a proper asparagus knife, like okay. this one. And you need to get down as low as you can, carefully, not disturbing any of the, any of the other spears coming up and then cut a couple of inches under the soil and there we go, a perfect spear of asparagus. Fantastic! Well it's not very often we tell you not to do something but with daffodils, after they finish flowering, please leave them for about six weeks so that they can get the energy back down into the bulbs to put on a really good display again next year. Now's the time to prune shrubs that have just finished flowering. Things like Forsythia, Ribes, winter flowering heathers. You can also deadhead camellias and rhododendrons. But while the soil's damp, it's a great time to lay turf. Jamie, what's your top tips for laying turf? Um, buy it as best as you can. So if you can afford it, get the better grade okay. and also buy local. Yes. Um, and also, before you lay your turf, get your soil as level as possible, get rid of all the stones, any debris, because the smoother you make it now, the easier the laying will be. So preparation's the key, really. Preparation's the key.